Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. I am eternal. Vide, I regret to inform you that you ain't shit, bitch. Look at that! I gotta take a screenshot. I have to take a screenshot. I have to take a screenshot. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Bro! Bro! My friends. Dog! I did this! We did this! They did... Zero, I don't know if you're still here, but I'm about to say something very powerful right now. Very, very powerful right now. Top three. Top three games of the year. Final Fantasy 16. Trails into Reverie, Octopath 2, baby. Easy. Easy. No contest. As much as I'm looking forward to Spider Man, nah, nah, uh uh. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. At, after this, at the art, nah. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm -mm -mm. Top three. Easy. No contest. All right, I was about to head on. You dropped that. <laughs> Man. Ooh, heaven help me. I might fuck around and make a video essay about this damn game. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, we. Man, and to think, and to think, to think that I started out playing this in my own free time, because I was just like, yeah, I want to play Octopath 2 for a long time, let me hop in on this, and then, right, Zero, I was telling you, that like, you know, I'm sitting here playing it on my downtime, on my off time, off stream, and I'm like, man, I'm having some like, really high tier streamer level commentary playing all by myself right now, let me stream this here and there, I streamed this game three times. Three times. Most of it done off screen. Most of the story, all that done off screen. I streamed the game three times. And I was not expecting to, I, I wasn't expecting it to be this good in the first place, right? But at the same time, I was like, you know, half and half on streaming it. But like, on top of me having something to post on YouTube, like, out of the things that I've streamed this year, so far, and again, I've only streamed this three times, phenomenal, phenomenal, makes me wish that I streamed it from the beginning now, but you know what, that's okay, because I saved the me parts for me and then I shared the stream me with y'all and this is gonna get shared to my YouTube people so like I'm just saying I'm just saying bro I, I was already excited for Octopath 2 from the jump and I already knew that I was gonna like it off of Octopath 1 and how I felt about Octopath 1 but yo I wound up liking this way more than what I would have and I mean bro like like the music 
every, and I really want to stress, every character's individual story, the art direction, the themes, the everything that was put into this game. There is a reason. And hear me very, very strongly right now. There is a reason why my fellow JRPG enthusiasts, my people, my homies out there, even if I don't know them by name, the people who play this, there is a reason why people say this is a hidden gem, a masterpiece, phenomenal, almost perfect, 10 out of 10. There's a reason why people say that Octopath Traveler 1 and 2 harkens back to the good old days of exclusive 2D pixel based JRPGs. Why, why, why I've seen some people say this is as good as, 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 as a Final Fantasy, a Chrono Trigger, Breath of Fire, all that, bro, all that, bro. There is a reason why real, genuine JRPG enthusiasts praise this game as much as they do. And Octopath 1, there is a reason because this, this right here, bro, this, what's on screen right now, is encapsulatory, I don't even know if that's a word, but this singular screen with or even without context shows that like whether you played this on your own or whether you played this for an audience you did a lot of shit and you came a long way and you got your shit done you got it done you got it done <laughs> you should be proud of that. You should be real proud of that. Cause like... Like... Shit, dog. Like, forget the whole... For e even though I've paused it on Hikari saying my friends, forget the whole power of friendship thing. This is, this right here, this is, this is man's unfettering will to just like, keep it pushing and keep living and do what you gotta do to see your people's happy. These are some of the most selfless people right now because like they very they very easily could have just been like nah I'm out I ain't doing this. But no. No. Cuz see check this out, right? Hikari had his people and his country that he was fighting for. Particio wants to help out the entire world and prevent people from being in 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 as such deep poverty as he was once in Temenos wants the truth to be out there because there's stuff that's still kind of murky but he's like nah somebody gotta do it and I'm gonna be the one to do it Throne spent her whole life in captivity and slavery and not understanding what real freedom was and then she finally got it and then here comes this god that's like no actually we're gonna wipe out the world so that everything can be quote unquote free and she wasn't having that Oswald had his family stolen from him framed for murder got out his path for revenge was changed from that to 
my daughter is still alive, I gotta fight to protect my kid, he got his kid back, and then this put his kid at risk of danger again, and he wasn't finna go through that again. Oh, Chet had her people total ha ha to fight for and protect them, look out for them as she didn't travel the world to prevent the shadow happening in the first place. Cassie lost her memories, got her memories back, but in between that process, she was still like, I got the power to help people, I got the power to heal people, that's what I'm gonna do! And she did that! She did that! And then Agnea, all, all she wanted to do, her whole driving force, was making sure that people could smile. However that may be, and she chose to do it through the power of dance. And then she helped write a song that's literally called the Song of Hope, bro. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. And all that. All that. Came bundled. And just, just as you said, Aerolith. Just as you said. They. All fought for the futures of not just themselves but each other and everybody on the fucking world oh i love stuff like i am a huge huge sucker for stuff like this especially especially when it's done right oh my heart Oh, I'm so, so, so happy that when I play games, I, I, I pay attention, I dissect them, and I, and I find a way to appreciate it at a, at, at such a, su such a strong level that I can go on tangents about shit like this, and, 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 and don't, as, as, as Amit said, you know, don't, don't stress out and and feel like gotta throw a couple dollars my way. The fact that you're here, that, that that's that's all your boy needs. That's all I need right now, especially for stuff like this. Hey 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 hey! Ain't nobody gotta throw no coin. Even if you feel like you have to, you don't have to. Cause this did. Mm, I'm about to get emotional. My goddamn self. Shit like this. Cause like. The whole reason, one of the big, big reasons that I started streaming in the first goddamn place was because I like video games. I like sharing my experiences in video games with people, however that may be. YouTube, stream, don't care. I like sharing my experiences with people. And some people really enjoy the insight of what I have to say about the games I play. I mean, that's how I got 300 on Twitch. That's how I got almost 500 on YouTube. That's why people watch my shit in the first place. But... I like sharing my fucking experiences with people. And especially stuff like this. Especially stuff like this. And now the only thing left to do is finish out whatever cutscenes we got left and then watch the end credits. Oh man. Oh my goodness. We really did this shit. And you know, but okay, last thing before I continue on with the cutscenes. Like, you know, a lot of people stress out and tweak out or review counts whatever whatever what have you some people will probably be only going off on tangents like this or giving a speech like this if they had like a, a, a ton of people watching bro bro that shit don't matter to me because when you got shit like this that moves you and i mean it moves you view count don't matter the amount of people watching you don't matter 
Because when something moves you, that's just your heart talking at that point. That's how you really feel talking at that point. And that... That's what motherfucking matters. That's what really motherfucking matters. But I... Let's get this shit done and take it home. The dawn has come.